Chichester Harbour on the south coast of England is a large natural harbour and one of England's most popular boating centres, with as many as 12,000 craft using the harbour regularly, from cruising yachts to fleets of racing dinghies competing in events hosted by the 14 sailing clubs on the harbour. So it's the perfect place for us to test sail our new boat and experience some very enjoyable cruising while we do. This is a new kind of marina we've never seen before. A marina with a sill. So this is the sill here. The tide right now is a couple of meters below that. The marina is closed for more than half of every 12 hour tide cycle. Tide flow in these islands is astounding to us. 100 million litres flow in and out of the marina on each tide. Only when the tide sill is covered by over a metre can the first shallow draft boats leave. Tidal planning is paramount for this voyage. This time on distant shores, we cross the North Sea to Holland then sail through the shallow waters of the Wadden Sea. We have to contend with tides and currents exploring the tricky shoals and deal with storms. But the lovely remote Frisian islands make it all worthwhile. The small islands in the south of Denmark are a sailor's playground. The area enjoys the warmest climate and receives the most sunshine in the country. This week on Distant Shores, we continue our cruise here with a visit to the island of Aero, where in the village of Aero Skobing, we go back in time learning the island's history. In the town of Marstel, we're shown how this small island has become a world leader in clean power production. We visit the Marstel Maritime Museum, where we learn how ships have been built and maintained in the town for hundreds of years. Next, we sail north to Copenhagen, Denmark's capital, where we moor in the center of the city and discover its treasures. Another glorious day in the Skargards, or Shargord, or something like that in Swedish. An amazing sailing resource, and so many people have cottages out here. All the little rocks seem to have some sort of building and probably a sauna on it as well and uh, it's just a real happening place in the summer right now end of august it's still great for sailing and exploring autumn weather is closing in in scandinavia so this week we travel from the east coast to the west coast of sweden through the protected waters of the jutta canal the Jutta Canal will allow us to get right into the middle of Sweden. Traveling this narrow waterway, we learn how to operate the old locks, help out a fellow boater, find out the history of this part of Sweden, and get up close to a beautiful castle. Join us on a voyage across Sweden's Jutta Canal. I learned Kuna today. <laughs> 